Welcome to my next tutorial. Today we will learn how to create the KPHP applications with the Twitter Bootstrap. Uh, as most of you know, as uh, the standard CSS which we use with uh, with uh, KPHP is the SERP Foundation. This is a minimum version. If you want to use the whole version with JavaScript, uh, you can uh, download it from from this page here. But okay, we will want to use the Twitter Bootstrap. So the first step is to create a new application. So open the place where you have htdocs, example htdocs, this is here, and here I will create my new application. Uh, one remark, it will be much more easier if you have the Windows 10 Professional or if you use Linux, so, and if you are able to use the PowerShell, shift, right mouse click, and you see here, open PowerShell window here because I would like to create this tutorial for everybody. So I will not use PowerShell. It will be a little bit more complicated. So first, copy the path of your exam directory. Just write CMD, go to the CMD, CD, Control V, go to htdocs. This is where we where we uh, want to create our application. So now we want to install or to create our application. If you don't remember, get the cake or PHP to download and we will see the comment. This is the comment here. I use the composer far. I have composer far as you can see here in the main directory of htdocs, so I will be able to use it. So let's copy this one. Uh, so I will only change the last word, which is the name of my application. Control V, and I will call this application Bootcake. Okay, enter. So the system will install this application. I will just cut here and I will wait when the application is ready and we will continue. So our application was installed, everything is okay. Uh, now go into the application CD and the name of application was bootcake, CD bootcake and we are inside of the application so we need to be there to execute some commands later. Uh, but before we do something, let's copy the composer far into this directory of our application. It will be useful later. Okay, this is it. Let's test if our application works. And oh, this is not this application. This is the old one, you know, from the previous video. And then this. Uh, this is bootcake. Mm -hmm. oh, it works. Okay, the only problem is the database is not set. I will use the same database as before, this Gencake database with this four tables to generate our new application. But before we do it, we need to change something in the application configuration. To do it, I will open this application in NetBeans. So file, not new, but sorry, new project in PHP from existing sources. Then browse and go to the, the, the directory where you have htdocs and this bootcake. Choose this bootcake and open and then finish. Okay, let's uh, go to the configuration, to the config subdirectory, open this up PHP directory, scroll to more or less 200, I don't know, 260. 
Okay, here data sources in here. Uh, the username, the standard for XAM is root. And the password is empty when you use Mac or uh, Linux. The standard password is also root, not empty. And let me see what was the name of the database. This is the kind of okay. Okay, and just put it here. That's the name. That's the name of the application. Save it. Go to the browser. Go to the application and refresh it to see that everything is okay. So database is configured. So we are ready to work with our application. But before we will generate our application. We need to we need to uh, install one plugin which give us the possibility to generate Bootstrap cake applications and to find this plugin just search in your browser cake PHP Bootstrap UI. And the first link is what we need. This is this plugin which we will install. So we will uh, we will uh, follow all their instructions here. I will show you how to do it. The problem is that some of the commands doesn't work in command line inside of this window. When you use uh, PowerShell, it, it works. When you use Terminal on Linux, it also works, but it doesn't work here. So we will do some things manually. I'll show you how to do it. So let's uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Then this is the line how we install our plugin. You see here we use Composer and require, and this is our uh, our uh, plugin. But is you will use or execute this Control G. Uh, this command when you have uh, composer installed i don't have i use this composer far which i down which i uh, pasted uh, inside of my directory so just use php composer dot far and just click here this 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 command will install our plugin you see also we change the composer.json file so just store the information about this plugin inside of this JSON composite JSON file. So you will be able later, for example, update everything. So just wait a second. Okay, everything is installed. Just to show you that it was installed, go to the vendor and then you see this directory, friends of cake. We will use this directory. Today, a lot will copy from this directory some files to our web pro. This is our uh, plugin. Just to show you that we have information about it in our composer configuration file, composer JSON. When you open it, then you will see this friends of cake bootstrap here. So, this is it. So, we installed the plugin let's go back to the instructions now we will need to load this plugin inside of our or into our application we can do it by adding this line at the end of the config bootstrap php but let us do it automatically we will execute this line and one more time not exactly this line but i will execute PHP, then cake.php. It works on all platforms. Enter, and this is it. This is added, and this is not added to Bootstrap PHP, this is added to application PHP. This is the way we can use with the newest version of cake. So let's see this place. So when you go to sources, if you have this application this is just the main file which is executed when we start cape application let's open it scroll down a little bit and you see here we add this plug 
so you don't need to edit it is added automatically with the, the previous comment or if you don't like this comment just write this line here this is the only change okay so let's go back we have this plugin now we need to uh, to, to to change a little bit our uh, view class so when you go to the view class to the main view class so sources and then view and you have the main view class when we you use uh, view classes in your application you extend this class so let's open this class a little bit and this class you see it extends uh, the view from cake view view we need to change it because we will extend another class from our plugin so let's go back to the documentation and you see we need to add just the use of our new class copy this one and put it here then we don't need to use this class and then in place of view we extend ui view from our boot sub class then the a little bit confusing part don't forget a lot of people forget about it don't forget to make some changes in this initialize this is also described here we need to call the parent initialize what means just execute the initial initialization from this ui view this is really important if you don't do it uh, the system will not work but well, just save it okay let's go for we can also this is another way how we can set up our view using ui view trait but okay the first version is is, is, is good enough so if we don't use any additional loyout bootstrap when we don't change anything which is connected with the loyout the bootstrap ui with the plugin which we included into application automatically use his own loyout yes. uh, and um, this loyout is, uh, is is inside of of our bootstrap we will in a second uh, use this layout uh, if you want to create your all layout you will need to add of course css from bootstrap and javascript in css uh, sorry uh, javascript from bootstrap in jquery we will not do it at this one so just skip this part and then we have another line to be executed the problem is it will not work it will not work in command line so we will do what we should do here and manually if you use tower shell it works if you use linux it works so what is it we need to copy the content of the template loyout examples from friends of cake into templates loyout twitter bootstrap so first of all just copy this part and create directory inside of src template layout with this name src sources template template layout okay you see here is is the, the old default layout so we will just paste sorry we will just first create a new folder with this name okay and then we will copy some files into this director you can also do it if you don't use uh, netbeans just your your uh, just your uh, file browser and you can go sorry you can go to htdocs of your application and copy and you see now in sorry not in web books go back in sources in template in layout I have this Twitter bootstrap which is empty at this moment. I will need to copy some files here. So let's do it in, in NetBeats. It, it's simpler for me. So uh, which files I will need to go to the Friends of Kate Bootstrap UI sources template layout examples. So let's go there. So this is in the vendor. Open the vendor. Friends of Kate. 
Bootstrap UI. And then what was it? Uh, I forgot. And then sources template layout. Sources template layout and examples. See this three files, these are just example layouts. It's enough for most of the applications. If you want to create your own layout, you can just do it later. So let's copy these three files, go back to the previous created directory in our template layout bootstrap, with our bootstrap, and paste these files here. So these are the the standard loyalty. We will use in most of cases this dashboard uh, CTP, but for example, when you want to use uh, to use uh, or to create a login page, you uh, you can, for example, use the sign in a CTP. So our files are just computer. Uh, okay, let's go forward. Now uh, we will install Bootstrap and jQuery, which we also need with this package. We will use the composer in order to install it. So execute this line. If you don't like composer, you can just download uh, the corresponding Twitter Bootstrap files and add to the application, as I will show you later. So go to the command line. You know, I use composer far, so I just use php.composer.var. If you have composer installed, just use the uh, corresponding program, the composer program. So we will add something to our application, we change also the Composer JSON, as you can see, the composer will be created in the renders inside of uh, TWP. As you see, here is updating when you do it for the first time. Uh, you will uh, have just installed, just installed it before, so don't worry, it, it will work this way. Then, then let's go to jQuery, and this is the way how we install jQuery. As you can see, we install jQuery in the components subdirectory. One more time, php composer.far and install it. Uh, this is here nothing to update i just installed it before so don't worry it will update if you just do it for the first time so we have now our uh, libraries new plugins installed so let's go to vendor and then go to twbs and bootstrap okay you see these are the all bootstrap files and then in components there is jquery and these are files connected to jQuery. Uh, if you don't see it in NetBeans, just wait or just restart NetBeans because sometimes NetBeans don't see the changes and then you see something strange. You can all the time just test if everything is okay when you go to the directory of your application in HDDocs. Yes, and then, for example, go to Vendor. And for example, components, you see jQuery, and these are the files we will use. So jQuery and everything is created. Now we need to move some files from from, from the installed subdirectory to the corresponding uh, the corresponding directories. Here are some one more time some uh, commands which will work in PowerShell or in, in your Linux computer, but they don't really work uh, in, in command line. So I will just do everything manually. This line is just creating several 
subdirect policy. Bootstrap in CSS, Bootstrap in JavaScript, Bootstrap, uh, jQuery in JavaScript, and font in CSS. So let's do it manually in my inside of my in my sorry, I just it like this in my NetBeans. So it must be done in WebRoot. So I'll go to WebRoot, and then the first one is Bootstrap in in CSS. So CSS. When you open CSS, you will see here we have some uh, files from the standard distribution. I will not delete it at this moment. I will delete it later. I'll show what happens when we delete them. Uh, of course, when you just have uh, the whole application created with Bootstrap, you can delete it. But when you want to keep the pages page, the first page, you will need to have it. Uh, okay, at this moment, we need to create new folders. New folder with the name Bootstrap. Okay, now in the same folder Bootstrap if in JavaScript, which is empty at this moment. Then we need to create a jQuery. Let's copy it. jQuery in JavaScript, so, jQuery in JavaScript, new folder. I don't know if there was one space. Let me check if everything was okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. And the last one is fonts is in CSS. In CSS also create the fonts folder. So you see in CSS we have bootstrap and fonts and in JavaScript we have bootstrap and jQuery. We created this for for a directory. So now we will need to copy some files. So let me do it like this. And this is the first line what we need to copy. We need to copy everything from Bootstrap distribution CSS to the CSS director, Bootstrap directory in the web route. So let's go first to vendor and go to the Bootstrap directory, TWBS, Bootstrap. Then distribution CSS, here are the, all the files for Bootstrap. In fact, we don't need all of them, but okay, they tell us to do it. And we will do it. Uh, so let's go back to. Sorry, I'll just close for a second the vendor, and we are in the web root now, and we copy it to CSS Bootstrap. CSS Bootstrap, click on it and paste. You see, here we have our files. Okay, the next step is copy. JavaScript from Bootstrap to JS Bootstrap in web route. So one more time, we need to go to the vendor and to the Twitter Bootstrap. Okay, this is it. Then one Bootstrap, then distribution, then JavaScript, and just take all these files. In fact, we need only one of them. But, okay, let's do it. Let's go back to WebRoot, which is where uh, WebRoot is here. And it was the JavaScript part. So JavaScript bootstrap paste these elements here to JavaScript. OK, now we will need to copy fonts from bootstrap to fonts. So let's go back to vendor. And you see, this is the bootstrap distribution. And we need the fonts. Let's copy all the fonts here. Don't move, don't delete, just copy. And now we will need to copy it here, you see, to CSS fonts in our web root. CSS fonts and paste it here. So we have the fonts and then we will need to copy the jQuery JavaScript file to the web root jQuery. So Let's open the jQuery part in Vendor. Let me close the Twitter bootstrap. The jQuery is in 
components, jQuery. You don't need already to install it in, in Java with, with, with Composer. We can just download jQuery and, and just copy into our application. We need to go to Webroot now. Webroot JavaScript and jQuery. This is the directory where we paste it. So now this is so everything is prepared now. Now this you see here this is three lines. This is what you can add to Git ignore. If you will later maybe use Git for your repository, then it's better not to add it to your repository. So copy these three lines and now we will not execute here anything. It's enough to open the I'll just open it, to the git ignore file and just paste here these three lines, copy this backslash at the end. Okay, it's 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 enough. So now we are prepared. Our application is ready to be generated. So let's go how we will generate our pages. So we will generate it in the, 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 the old standard way. This is the, the line. The only difference to the, the, the way presented last time is to add the minus T my template bootstrap UI. So let's copy it. And one more time, I will just change a little bit this command to be able to use it on any, any platform. So one more time, I use PHP, then bean cake PHP. I don't use the standard. And then it's enough, in fact, to use bake. And then what we will bake? We will bake all and then okay let's see what are our tables so we have articles here so let's copy articles That's articles minus and start it don't worry about the the, the errors this are not errors but some warnings uh, it works uh, the plugin use some deprecated methods and maybe later when you use this there will be no errors this is not a problem so articles what is this next one the next one was authors let's see here just move it authors authors is it okay okay generate it and then generate also Talks. Everything is is done. Now let's test our application. So when you refresh, then you see also, of course, the the the, the, the pages, and we see this page because we have still in our application the CSS from. From, uh, from 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 cake but okay this is uh, good cake uh, sorry articles articles oh, sorry uh, I forgotten to add uh, add slash And voila, we have all the whole application now written in Bootstrap. So you see the visual part is, 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 is a little bit different. So now we can create new article and so on and so on. Now everything is, is done in Bootstrap. You have these nice buttons here for, for actions. Now you can change your layout or whatever uh, just and in fact this is all about bootstrap uh, i would like maybe show you a little bit how to change maybe you don't like this menu 
well, maybe you would like to add something there and so on and so on or well, maybe i will show you also just create a uh, create a new article the title okay new book new book and then body world and then out author and so on that's the matter so then add and you also what you will see you see also the the flash is created now in in bootstrap so we can click here to close the flash and this is this is it uh, let us just take a look at the at the application a little bit uh, when you go to sources and to our template and layout and bootstrap this is the this is the, the the part which we use as a standard bootstrap so if you want to change a little bit something you can just change this part yes for example here is when you want to to add uh, a menu this is just menu from from uh, from uh, from put so let's see what happens when I just delete this comments so now I have this part which just uh, which just uh, defined menu okay let's see now to our application and refresh this application and you see a nice menu is here you can just use it this is the way how we change the application the visual part of the application we just use this this element element here and just maybe just take a look at the at the generated templates for example the index here yes this is the generated template okay paginator it works very well this is the standard k what you see here when you when you create such a template you will when you create it manually maybe you will do it and you want to use bootstrap uh, you need to extend this dashboard but i would like to show you something uh, maybe this is not the best idea to use it here uh, with index but okay just 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 to show you when you go to your sorry to, to your template layout you see you have in Twitter bootstrap different layouts you have the sign in layout and cover layout let's see what is the cover layout. just for fun change it to cover cover layout and you see this is the index of articles and save it I will return to the dashboard because this is of course the better thing so let's go to articles this is the articles now when I refresh it you see it looks different so this is this is this template of course we we don't use it for 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 for, um, and for a listing of elements let's we have also uh, we sign in what is the sign in yes let's save it and refresh our page uh, this is it you see the sign in is without uh, our borders and so on if you don't want it you don't need to to uh, the, without the, the the side panels the left panel you see we don't have it so you can use it so let's return of course to the previous one control z control z to dashboard and save it we have the standard dashboard so if you want really to change the look of your application you can go to the dashboard or is it in, sorry in in template layout bootstrap dashboard and just change the main layout here or you can copy and you can you can uh, you can uh, create your new layout of course you will need to add parts like this and then you will need to add this parts if you want to have flash as this is the flash part and then you will 
need to add the content using this, but the other part you can use in the way, way you really want. And this is all about creating cake application with Bootstrap, Twitter Bootstrap. Okay, thank you very much.